I'm back in Bordeaux tasting the wines from Cote de Bordeaux and now I'm in Blay tasting the Cote de Blay. And um, I mean, this is predominantly a red wine region, but there are some really nice, interesting white wines being made there. This is 100% um, Sauvignon Blanc. However, I always like to stress that, you know, a lot of the Sauvignon Blanc coming from Bordeaux is not really like that from, from New Zealand or from the Loire Valley. I mean, they do have a slightly different character. And just by putting my nose in this one, it's not, I think this is really Sauvignon, which is picked a bit riper. The fruit is a bit more leaning towards that yellow fruit, the peach, apricot, the ripe citrus, grapefruit. Uh, I mean, it's leaning more towards that direction, so we don't get too much of those green, green notes in this one. And I mean, it, this is really bursting with fruit. O9 was a really, really ripe year. Everyone knows it was a, a great vintage and uh, really youthful, vivid, with plenty of purity. Mm. Really juicy, really zesty with a ripe acidity, rather ripe fruit in there. Once again, you know, we get more grapefruit, pineapple, yellow fruit, and I mean, there's a slight creamy touch there coming from a... We feel a hint of oak aging there, which is not, it's not oaky by any means, but it's giving, I mean, a more creamy, creamy touch on the palate, and it keeps lingering for a good while. So, still very, very youthful, but a promising wine, and... This is a Sauvignon which has the structure not only for like natural seafood or, or lighter style food but rather with the pan fried cod, monkfish, turbot, grilled fish, you know, I mean served with the risotto or in cream and white wine sauce or anything like that. I'm actually getting hungry now so I go for lunch. See you.